what is going on welcome back to the channel uh, today we're gonna be opening up a new knife this is uh, from spider co it's my first spider co uh, I've held a few uh, I've never owned any I've wanted to own this one for a good six months or so none of them just ever really struck me as the one like I wanted to really wanted to have the I know the paramilitaries are very popular um, they just aren't my style like the the blade shape just doesn't really speak to me um the handles look okay but just the overall shape of the knife i just yeah it's okay um it's it's not bad it's just i like other stuff i'm more of like a cleaver worn cliff type uh, blade shape person tanto i like those blades as well anyway um i was out there about two years ago held some knives checked out a bunch of cool stuff and i really wanted to like this stuff i just couldn't find anything that was, you know, my style essentially. Um, and then sometime last year, I seen somebody post a picture of a modified Yojimbo 2, which is what this is. And I was like, that thing is awesome. What is that? So I messaged the guy and he told me, and it was modified by a third party company, or in this case, actually, it would be second party. But um, anyway, it looked awesome. You can't buy them like this guy had them. He bought it second hand and uh, he paid a lot for it. So I wasn't willing to go that route. Um, but I did start looking into these more and the old ones were black handle with a silver blade, which it's okay. Um, on some, I've got a few that are like that and I, I like them like that. Um, but for the most part, I, I like stone wash or black wash or black blades, uh, DLC coated or Sarah coated, anything like that. I like coated blades uh, better than the, just a standard silver. So I saw that they came out with a black on black and I was like, that's the one. That's the one I want. Um, but I did uh, make a pact to myself that uh, it, was, it was in the probably the fall of last year. I said, I'm not buying any more knives this year. And I held to it. I didn't buy any. Uh, I was a good boy about it um, but come around this year I had to have this thing um, and it's been staring me in the eye for like I said about six months and I decided to pull the trigger on it and uh, get it for myself so like I said this is my first spider co um, but uh, not the first one I've, I've had in my hands so I open this up we've got our just our standard sleeve I guess um, got the knife itself and uh, product information Again, these are all USA made knives out of Colorado. Um, oh, okay. So this actually tells you about the knife. This is telling you about the Yo Jimbo 2 line of stuff. And you can see here's the three different styles. So this is the one I have. And this is the standard one they came out with. And this is actually a, a trainer because this is a, uh, this was actually designed for self defense. Um, not that I plan on using it for self defense. I think it just looks cool. If it happens, uh, which I really don't hope ever happens. Um, I guess it's there um, if I have it on me, but I don't plan on ever doing anything with it. So um, it looks cool. It's got G10 uh, handle uh, scales. Um, I'm not sure what the blade type is. It's CPM uh, 530 or what is that? Uh, S30V, sorry. CPM S30V. So. I guess let's open this thing up and see what it looks like and get it in hand and we'll go from there. All right, so here is the knife. It just comes in a bag. Um, not really anything special as far as packaging. Um, package is pretty generic. Um, limited warranty info. So here it is. Here's the G10 scales and like it said, uh, S30V coated blade not a deep carry pocket clip that's something i'll probably want to change out i'm not too fan too fond of uh non-deep carry clips you can see when this is in your pocket this is going to be the top of your pocket and this is going to be sticking out that much which isn't a ton it's probably an inch and a half or so um i just don't prefer it. there are aftermarket ones that you know they bolt on up here and then they loop around so the top of your pocket would be about here you'd gain about three quarters of an inch or so now i've never uh, spidey flicked off uh, a knife before i just haven't had any that have any holes in them or the ability to do that i don't think 
This is pretty stiff as well. You can see there's that Warren Cliff style blade, that flat edge, which uh, very sharp point. Should be good for piercing and obviously just cutting. There we go. Very cool. It's very good size for me. You can see it doesn't really stick out of the, the the end of my palm there, but I can get all four fingers on it no problem. Uh, I might move this pocket clip. It does have four-way reversible, so you can put the clip here, here, or on either end here. Um, I can already feel it's kind of digging into my palm when I'm holding it like this, so I might want to move it to the other side just for the comfort of that. And you can see this uh, spot on top here is actually built in for your thumb. So this is how it's supposed to be held. Um, let's see here, there's the Spyderco logo. I don't know if you can see it here, right there. And then in here is a signature. It's probably the guy, I think it is Michael Janis, I think is his name, that designed this. Janik, Michael Janik. So anyway, that's the Yojimbo 2. It's a back lock, so it, uh, it has two steel liners on the inside of the uh, the frame there. Actually, it's not a frame, inside the, uh, the scales. It's hard to see because it's all black, but you just push this piece in and it disengages. And then it should allow this to drop down. Yeah, that's pretty tight, so yeah. It's gonna have to be loosened up and lubed up to be able to flick open and drop shut yet yeah, pretty tight yeah that's gonna have to get fixed so I do have the stuff here to do that so let's do that let's uh let's take this up oh, I'm not gonna take it apart um, but I think I'm just gonna loosen up the pivots and put a couple drops of oil in here and see if we can't get this thing to function how I like my knives to function so just gonna crack these loose a little bit maybe like eighth turn gonna hope that with some time and a little bit of lube that I can get this thing to spidey flick open without issue but anyway that's the Yojimbo 2 I'm pretty excited to carry this thing around like I said it feels real good in hand uh, it's really good size for me I'd say I have probably uh, a large hand not an XL hand you know whatever I wear a large glove, but it fits really nice. I like it. Maybe I'll change the hardware out. It would be kind of cool with bronze hardware. If it had all bronze bolts and a bronze clip, I think that would look cool. Or copper if they have them. Probably would be bronze. Bronze would be easier to get. But for now, I guess that's it. That is my... Uh, Spider Co. Yo Jimbo 2. Hopefully, you guys liked it. I know I'm going to really enjoy carrying this thing around. I want to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. We out. <laughs>